Hi, it's Piotr Lankiewicz and in this video I'd like to show you how you can make use of the Azure Container Registry as an alternative to a Docker Hub. With Azure Container Registry you can also host your Docker images but in a little bit different way. So in one of the previous videos I actually showed how you can make use of the Docker images and later on deploy your ASP.NET Core apps into, an, into the Ubuntu server and using engines. So in this video, we'll also use Docker. Also in the previous post, I described how you can write a script that will actually be used inside the Bitbucket pipelines and which will push your Docker image to the given registry. So let's open the portal azure.com and let's try to create a new resource. So I will just click here on a new item and type the container so yeah container registry and i'll call this create button and let's type a name so let's say my test app i will use the existing resource group it doesn't really matter that much and yeah north europe use manage registry or no use my own registry whatever and now click create it will take a while, so just stay patient and be with me for the time, but it's actually maybe about a minute until our container registry is ready. So what we need to do is actually um, pick up one of our Docker images. So when I type Docker images, there are quite a few images that I have on my hard drive. So I can say that I would like to use, for example, the um, fibon.service image. That's the repository that we created uh, during our last .NET Core tour workshops. And it's basically a simple uh, distributed web, not really web, but uh, application uh, built with ASP.NET Core. And we have uh, two Docker images for this one. So let's see what's the status here. I will open my all resources tab. And yeah, I can see there is my um, container, but still no container registry. It's still trying to deploy it. Okay, okay, it succeeded. So let's refresh our page here. Let's go to the all resources once again. And here we can see our My Test App Container Registry. What we need to do now is to go to this access keys and copy this login server. So I will copy it, open my terminal, and I will provide the docker login command. The important thing is that I need to paste my URL here because I want to log in to this one, not to the Docker Hub, which is the default one. So now I need to provide my username, which is actually this part, my test app. I'll paste it here. And my password, which is the access key here. So I'll copy it, paste it to my terminal. And as you can see, my login has succeeded. So what I can do now, I can, for example, push my local Docker image. So let's say I want to push the following image, Fibon service or Fibon API. But before I do it, I have to tag it. So at first I want to do Docker tag and let's say Fibon API. And I want to tag it with my full container registry name like this, then slash and the actual name of the image, which can be anything. It can be Fibon-API or anything else. Now I want to push it to my repository. So I'll just call Docker push, copy this one, paste it here. And it started pushing my Docker, local Docker image to the Azure container registry. And as you can see, when you get back to the Azure portal, here under this repository tab, you will see that there will be this brand new Fibon-API in that uh, scenario, Docker image that you can actually use on your local machine or on your server. And if you want to do it, you will just do Docker pull and type the name of your image. But of course, before you will have to log in in order to uh, access this uh, container registry, which is private by default. And this is very that simple. So for example, if I want to do this uh, deployment script, which is uh, the one that I described here in a post, the only difference I would have to, the only difference would be that here in my push, I would have to, of course, specify the registry name, same as in the tagging section. But in my login, I would also have to specify the URL of the, of the container registry 
in which to which I would like to log in. So that's it. And I hope it will be helpful for you. As you can see, it's very simple. And the Azure Container Registry is a pretty nice service to use. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.